What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in this video I'm going to be showing you my first architectural competition. Now this will be the fourth in series of architectural competitions that I'm doing in collaboration with Competitions Archie. This is an amazing website where you can go and you can find current architectural competitions. So if you want to try yourself out, you want to compete, you want to do some amazing projects, head on to our competitions Archie and there you can always subscribe and then they will send you an email whenever there's a new competition out that you might want to compete in. So that's quite cool. And before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this video and please subscribe, I make daily videos. Okay, so let's get started. So this was a competition I did, I think it, I was uh, second year, first semester and it was a quite a cool topic. It was this village of Arayats and this is in Serbia I, and I'm from Serbia so of course I had to do it and it's this interesting little village it's a village for people that do wine that make wine and they prepare everything and turn grapes into wine and there's they sell it and it's this uh, amazing famous wine that people come from all across the world here in riots to buy it so I thought it would be cool to do this competition and the competition Competition was to create this uh, tourist information center for all the tourists that come to uh, riots and to buy wine and just to see the whole process and the, the whole architecture of the vill village is quite nice they have these old school stone buildings in, and they have some interesting characteristics that were important to use in a, in a project now keep in mind this was my first project so I wasn't really any good at it and I made a lot of rookie mistakes but I thought by showing you the, this project and showing you what mistakes I made you might not make them and I thought it would be just interesting to see what a ar architectural competition for students looks like. Okay so I'm just going to open it up here on screen and you can see it over here. So this was the first panel I made and uh, here first you can see this is the this is the village where the competitions were. This, this is like a site plan. Uh, so first we have this portion over here now this is where the main parking is so all of the buses if uh, a bunch of people with a bus come over so buses can park over here and there is a public bathroom over here now why is there a public bathroom so far away from the whole village I don't know I, I'm guessing they had some regulation or it's an old village so they don't, don't want to ruin it by placing a bathroom in there I don't know but it's I think it's a bit silly but anyway we go on so the road goes all the way up here and this is the placement of our tourist information center so it was supposed to be here and this where the the road kind of bends and goes off in the other direction and this is basically the entrance to the whole village so you come over to this road and this is kind of the the main square of the village and this is where all the people gather so that's the center point so our project was to design this house over here the tourist information center so when people come over this is where they they have to pass to enter the village and they can get all of the all of the information buy some souvenirs buy some wine wine taste the wine I don't know so that's that's the point of the whole project so if we go down over here this is kind of a uh, bigger a little bigger site plan and here we have this is the the road and here I placed a couple of parking spots for disabled people now uh, even though we have this big parking over here this is a very steep road so I don't know what what the the uh, disabled access is so it, it was very bad so that's why you decide to place these two handicap spots over here then we have our house over here and because the, the road kind of winds and goes up here so there's a, a height difference between this portion over here and this portion over here I decided to use that to place a house at the, at the little hill so there's a little descent in the in the terrain and I liked I wanted to connect the my house with this lower portion of the road so there's a bunch of steps over here so you can get up to the house 
and here as you can see we've got some roof windows this is the big terrace so tourists can kind of unwind and chill over here and because uh, this is uh, south is over here down here so this is always in shade so it's a nice place to sit and just chill out okay so continuing on we're going to the next presentation panel this is uh, the the floor plan and with the the whole surroundings so we have a bunch of trees over here and as you can see here i changed the, the stone the, the road from uh, having just a asphalt here to cobblestone uh, this is the traditional stone in this village so i thought I, I don't want to have any any asphalt going into the village that would just be wrong and here as you can see we've got some tables over here in the upper terrace this is at level zero zero then we've got the level minus uh, three meters so that's the the one below and here we have this big table and people can test wine here and just relax and here we have just a little upper uh, terrace that's kind of level in between it's 1.5 meters minus 1.5 so we have 0 minus 1.5 and minus 3 so we have these three levels and I just try to play around with these different levels for these terraces for all of the visitors and here we had this bathroom now uh, the idea for the bathroom is you can access it from the outside of the building maybe it doesn't make any sense uh, but there are a lot of people that are just going to the bathroom and you don't want to have them pass through the building just like in gas stations for example you have an outside door for the bathroom so people that are just on the highway going through the gas station bathroom they don't have to go through the actual restaurant and next to the cashiers and everything so that's the idea behind that and here you can see the section so this is the upper road this is that cobblestone road and this over here down here is the regular asphalt road and here it's connected with the stairs which you can't see in this view but never mind and here we can see the stairs and the, the whole house and the, the roof and everything Okay, so continuing on, this is the final presentation board. This one looks most impressive, I guess. And please don't look at the rendering. I know the sun is going from here, so this whole thing should be in shade. I know I made a bunch of mistakes. It was my first time, so I am... Okay, continuing on. I, I, I'm cringing just while looking at this. Anyway, so here we've got some uh, floor plans and some sections and some elevations. So let's go through the whole building. So here, when you come in here, you can see my original idea was when you come over, you come from here, from the road, and you've got one door over here and one like main entrance over here. And here we've got just some souvenirs, stacks and whatever. And here is the cashier so you can buy your souvenirs. And then you've got this stair going down here to the bottom level. So this is the, the down level. And here is where you can test different, uh, different wines and you can buy them. And uh, this uh, lower level opens up to this terrace, the, the lowest terrace, and then there's a little stair over here to get to this upper terrace with a another big wood table for wine testing. And we've got just a bunch of little uh, tables over here. This uh, The upper portion is more of a cafe style than, than wine, ta wine tasting. I think that having a large wooden table is a lot better for wine tasting than than having these like silly little French uh, tables. But anyway, let's move on to this section. Okay, this section shows the, uh, the the differences in elevation. So this is the bottom part. This is where this is that big wooden wine testing table. And here you can see this is the kind of a shelf, a representative shelf where you can store all of the precious uh, rare wines so people can take them from there and try them out and this is the mid level and this is the upper level and if we go down to this section here you can see this is that shelf for storing wine we've got the big table a little bit of uh, a bar over here for the people that work there and up here is just the regular uh, souvenir shop and I've placed a bunch of these roof windows over here. I thought it would be cool to illuminate everything just through the roof windows because uh, this side doesn't have much light. Uh, it's, it has the east orientation, so it's not very illuminated. So that's why I uh, kept, uh, placed these roof windows. And I like roof windows, I like skylights. 
but anyway so let's go to this other floor plan so this is the the lower level floor plan so this is that wine tasting area as well as the terrace and here you can see I've got some elevations and I've got this 3D rendering. Now, my idea with this uh, presentation was to uh, have one uh, one panel that's most representative, 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 representative. And the rest of them uh, were kind of uh, not so good. Uh, first, I didn't have time, and you never have time when you're doing an architectural competition. So my best guess is to do just one extremely good presentation panel just to grab the attention of the jurors and then the rest you, you have to give good information but it doesn't have to be all that fancy and representative that's why I have this one and it has this horrible rendering that doesn't make any sense at the time I thought it was good so forgive me but uh, that, that's the general idea so you have these 3d floor plans and sections that's what you want to have you want to have one representative one representative thing that grabs your attention and then the rest can just give you more information once once you have the attention of the jury because usually when you have these big architectural competitions you have juries that that are looking at 20 30 50 sometimes over 100 works or panels so you want to be the one that stands out and grabs attention so okay this was a very simple design and it's horrible and i wouldn't ever do anything like this ever again but you get the point so grab the attention and then tell the story okay so that was my first architectural competition i hope you have learned something or at least laughed at my rookie mistakes so that's pretty much it for this video thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments for about this project or you want to make some suggestions on what kind of videos would you like to see in the future would you like to see more of uh, videos like this where you talk about architecture or are you just like no Revit tutorials and nothing else okay so that's pretty much it and i'll see you tomorrow